Yo gamers, we're playing Barony, and today we're going to be playing as a human warrior with the intention of making a live stream guide. That's right, not only will I tell you everything that needs to happen, but I will also tell you everything that woof, you woof. should be doing, thinking, and doing. So game flags, I just showed that very quickly. It's completely blank and normal. S Warriors are a strength-based class, which means we deal a lot of physical damage. They also have a high constitution, which means they become very tanky, and they've got a high charisma, allowing us to interact with shops or make use of our leadership skill, which I'll mention in a moment. Uh, humans, nothing special, no resistances, no weaknesses, but we can freely interact with shopkeepers whenever we wish, allowing us to buy and sell as we please and get anything that we want in the game, which is great. It's absolutely great. And it's gonna make a world of a difference. Uh, skills wise, you know, we have a lot of pull arms. We've got some skills in swords. We've got a decent amount of blocking, some ranged, just all of the martial things that we need. Blocking, overpowered. I'll show you guys that now. Uh, pull arms, pull arms are pretty great because we'll have access to Gungnir later. And of course, we start with 40 points in leadership, giving us access to a bunch of commands. Now, we could recruit some humans and probably show you guys some of that. But yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Lady Yoda, welcome on in. And same to you, Mika. Welcome in. Welcome in. I hope you guys are doing well. Uh, let me just double check and verify that we are actually live. I believe we are, so let's get this party started. Uh, I'm going to start off by grabbing all of the torches, because blocking is overpowered. You can get up to 40 points in blocking using torches. Since we already have 25 points in blocking, just holding spacebar with a torch gives me 10 extra The AC. meteorite event has begun. Our AC gets tripled. That's pretty ridiculous. Okay, it's pretty ridiculous. It's a thing. It's a thing, but uh, uh, what can we do about it? Yo, Joker! <laughs> welcome to Twitch! How are you on your phone, Joker? Either way, welcome in, welcome in. How you doing? For those of you on Twitch that want to support me over on YouTube, uh, I do. I am currently streaming this over there. For those on YouTube that want to help and support the channel, you know what to do. I, I don't need to tell you. For those of you that are just watching and hanging out, you guys are more than welcome to. We're going to be running around and what showing what? you the way of the uh, demigod human warrior thingamabob. I don't know. By the way, someone told me they couldn't believe that you can trigger boulders by throwing items underneath them. <laughs> so, uh, you know, just, just a little quick tip out there for those of you that aren't aware. I don't do it very often, but it is uh, something that's very useful. You can also do it with throwing items. You just throw an item there and then, you know, no problem. Now, we've got 24 torches. It should be more than enough. In fact, I feel like we've got too many torches. I'm surprised we've not encountered a single enemy this entire time. It's actually kind of ridiculous. It's it's kind of dumb. It's it's kind of crazy. Also, this chest plate weighs a lot. If you feel like you're too slow, don't be afraid to get rid of that. Because as I said, if you hold spacebar, you've got a lot of AC, allowing you to move around freely. But since I am feeling very confident with having less torches, I was just gonna toss the torches instead. Okay, how the heck? Where is everything? This dungeon is empty! This is the most empty dungeon I've ever seen! Not a single enemy, basically no loot, it's nothing! I've explored half of the map! This is madness! Actual madness! Okay, that could be a necklace of... Uh, poison resistance or something else. So, this skeleton has an axe. Unfortunately, an axe is the worst kind of enemy we could have encountered. What we're actually looking for is an enemy like a rat or any other skeleton that does not deal damage of an axe. Axes will always deal a little bit of damage. Always, always. So, best to avoid them. I found a serviceable helmet, so that's not from a skeleton. We got that from somewhere. Oh, this is where they were all hiding, huh? Okay, we're fine. We might bleed out here. But, okay, we didn't bleed out. That's good. 
that's good. So, unfortunately, there was an axe, and the timing between these two skeletons was a bit rough. It's still a bit rough, but, like I said, between the blocking, we can get a lot of AC, and once that hits 40, we don't need all of these torches anymore. We can start swapping to shields and, you know, just getting a little bit more. This is pretty much the very first thing that we're going to do as a warrior, because, again, having all of that AC, especially as a constitution class character, it helps. It helps a lot. 38. Just two more. Give it a moment. 39 and 40. And we'll equip the shield and it'll keep going up. In the meantime, our health is currently regenerating, which is good. I'm doing good today, Joker. How are you doing? How is everybody in chat doing? Hope you guys are all well. So I would like to try and retaliate here. It'll be a very tight retaliation if we do. I'm gonna toss my helmet there. Sorry, my shield. Because we were taking a bit extra damage. Uh, what I did back there, just in case anybody is wondering, I walked around the corner, and because the skeletons are walking in a straight line and they're trying to kill me over here, they need to kind of walk into the wall before they can get around it. Because I'm already around the wall, if I keep running, they will 100% be out of range, and they won't be able to hurt me. So I'm just gonna take like seven torches, we'll toss most of them, and we'll put on our chest plate again because it's good to have that and it looks like that's pretty much the whole floor just uh two there were three skeletons and yeah that that was that was it there's nothing else apparently there were two rats the skeletons killed the rats so i'm not getting any of that that's that's gone that's that's out of my reach it's i don't oh, that's fine it's fine uh, this is a Minotaur floor. We're you gonna try and just find the Gnomish Mines because the Gnomish Mines is a great place to find pickaxes and staffs of lightning, which can make a difference. But we don't need it. Also, we don't need to worry about carrying extra weapons. They are heavy, they take up space, and they're not really necessary. I should probably teach you guys how to do some uh, counter attacks with the shield and blocking. And it's very simple. You'll see this in Indicator. It's a great indicator on the top of your screen. The moment you see that indicator, you just strike back. So, hold spacebar, see indicator, let go of spacebar, hit, hold spacebar. If you could just do that, every time you see the gray indicator, you'll be fine. By the way, uh, here's a Conan the Barbarian. That's actually really funny. That's very funny. We'll have him go deal with the, uh, the gnomes if he can survive. Otherwise, we could probably have a friend with us through the whole dungeon. You know what? I'll leave that up to all of you guys. What do you guys think? Shall we have Conan as a friend all the way with us? Or shall we... Hmm, how do I, how do I say this? Uh, have a sacrificial lamb to potentially help us out just a little bit. Yeah, yeah, we'll go with that. We'll, we'll just go with that sacrificial lap. Yeah, that's fine, right? That's fine. I'm not gonna worry about the gem. Oh, we gotta open up. The Minotaur is gonna spawn any moment now, so we gotta keep moving. That could be a spellbook or force bolt, so I'm gonna hold on to it just in case we can learn it. If we can learn any sort of magic, it helps. It helps, it makes a difference. Okay, looks like Conan just killed a rat. I really don't mind. We're going straight to the gnomes. We're going into this corner over here. There's a gnome of a staff, but that's okay. We'll just get rid of him. We'll, uh, you know, we'll just poke him a couple of times. No big deal. We'll put that staff on my hotbar. We're going to tell Conan to wait because we don't know if there's more gnomes here. Okay, that's his lightning staff. We'll just zap him. <laughs> There's another one! We managed to hit him, which is good. Okay, we're fine, we're fine. Uh, swap to the shield, we'll tell Conan to come over here. And I'm just gonna block the troll while Conan takes care of him. Avoiding all damage and gaining extra XP, which is great. This is fun. <laughs> ah, it's great! It is a wonderful, 
It's a beautiful thing. Oh, wait, hold on, Mr. Joel, get back here. Okay, so again, we'll just use our shield. We'll just block. It is currently worn. Oh, unfortunately, that hat is not something we can use, but yeah, that's okay. Thank you're going in for taking care of that troll. Uh, you, sir, you just wait right there. We're going to go around the corner here and see if we can't take out another little gnome who gives us a shield. That's great. But I'm going to swap to that shield right now and we'll see if it's cursed. It's not cursed. In that case, I'll hold on to it. And once my shield breaks, we'll just swap on over. Okay, so same thing. Once we get to a corner, notice how the troll needs to, like, follow us. So again, we'll let him hit us. Once we get to a corner, we can turn around and run the moment we see that indicator. And then we can fight back. Ooh, don't want to get hit. That's definitely not something we want. Conan! Sir! Please, there's a troll following me! Can you kick his butt? Thank you! <laughs> hey, look at that, we got a shield! Also, 27 AC already. Uh, this is a very high number. This is a very, very high number. It's pretty great. And we also found a bear trap that we can use over here. Two bear traps, in fact. That's great. That's really great. And also here, there's a gnome to our left, which is a little scary. We'll unequip the shield. And just, just quickly take a look-see. Okay, this guy, this guy has a pickaxe. Because he's got a pickaxe, I'm going to use my spear and shield. We're going to just poke him in the face a couple of times and take him out. Shield's decrepit. Okay, that's, that's kind of bad. We don't like decrepit shields. We also really want to hold on to uh, these pickaxes. And look at that! Our identifying skills is high enough. We can start appraising. 60 blocking already? Yeah, it's, you get blocking up so quick. Torches! Getting your blocking up to 40 and then using shields to get it up even further. It's, it's a lot. I mean, defense increases by 17 AC. Plus, we have an additional 2 AC. That's... It's not small numbers. <laughs> Those are big numbers. In fact, I feel so confident. I'm going to toss my armor. And we're just going to use the speed here. Wait, actually. Fluff, fluff. Yeah, we'll hold that up right there. Hey, it's a little gooper. Welcome in. Welcome in. How you doing, man? How you doing? I hope you're well. Strangulation. Terrible. Curse scroll. We're not going to hold on to that. Let's poke our head around the corner here. Are they in the middle? I think they're in the middle. Which means we might be able to go around and blast them with our Staff of Lightning. Okay, we see one. Any others? No, that's it. Okay. So that's all of the gnomes in the center taken care of. But I'm still not feeling safe. I still don't feel great about this. I'm gonna leave the blast pickaxe over here. Uh, I'm gonna go back to where Conan was. You know what? We don't have to go back to where Conan is. We're going this way. So, what are the commands? Uh, the commands for what? Which commands, Joker? We're gonna sneak over here. We could sneak with our torch. But, you know, it's not actually sneaking. When you are a literal walking beacon of light. That's the thing. The Twitch commands? Uh, I don't really have that many Twitch commands. If you mean the ones for the Moon Rocks, they've not been implemented yet. Okay. Looks like there's a gnome over here. Luckily, he has a pickaxe and we don't have to worry about it. We're just going to poke our face around the corner. We can take one hit of lightning. Just one. Oh, okay, that's not what I wanted. That's fine. It's fine. That's fine. We're okay. We're okay. Okay, it looks like that cheese was cursed. Fluff, 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 that's okay. Welcome, Ultra Foam, to the Wolf Pack. Hey, Ultra, welcome to the Wolf Pack. Thank you for the follow. How you doing, my guy? 
Are you here for some bounty, or are you just here to hang out? I don't know if you know me from somewhere else, or if, if you know Barony, but... Hey, I see you, man. I see you. Okay. Looks like we've cleared out... Pretty much the majority of things in this bottom corner. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be equipping a cursed pickaxe. This is a terrible idea normally. It is a horrible idea. Don't do this. But, because I've killed all of the gnomes and trolls in this general vicinity... I'm feeling very confident and very safe to, uh, um, not have to deal with, uh, trolls. Um, <laughs> at least, you know, you've got a lot of AC because of blocking. Like I said, guys, like I said, just get your blocking up and then all of a sudden you don't really have to worry about most of the problems in this game, making your life a lot easier. It looks like we also have two shields, which is great. We'll put those on my hotpot. And do we want to get the helmet? I don't currently have a helmet. Yeah, let's get the helmet. Why not? Oh, I'm confused! It's fine. It's fine. I'm okay. I just lost my way for a little bit there. That's okay. I lost that bad footing. It's bad footing. Yeah, that's what it was. Okay. So this was a book of force bolt. We're going to learn that. We're going to equip the Spell of Force Bolt because it's on a different hotkey. We only have to press F to cast it. Uh, unfortunately, our casting is really bad. So, it's not going to be the most reliable of spells. But at least it's a spell that we can use. And if you want, you can take a look at these chests. In this case, we found gloves. Usually, I don't look at chests because they always have something of use or real value. So, I tend to just ignore them. But if you want to, you can. They're there. You can do it. Uh, let's get the bonus gold from these walls that don't show it. And then we'll toss the pickaxe. Get the bonus gold again. There is more gold in this wall down here. And after that, we'll take a look in the middle again. Looks like that's a troll. We're going to equip our decrepit shield. Our gloves. And then this troll will basically just give us a lot of free blocking experience. Meanwhile, we're gonna walk around, we're gonna equip our axe, and we're just gonna get gold, while we're getting a lot of blocking at the same time. And every single time you see that indicator, that is your cue to do a counterattack. So, indicator, block, indicator, you know, you just go back and forth. Just go back and forth a couple of times. I do advise trying to break your shield so that you at least have one shield on you at all times. If you don't have any shields on you, that's okay. As long as you have some torches. Because if you have torches and you block, 27 AC. It's really, really high. You can go a long way with that amount of uh, AC. It's it's not a small amount, okay? It's, it's pretty big. And we got another pickaxe. So again, we're just going to do the same thing with this troll. We're just going to poke him, block, poke him, block. At this point, we're still in the gnomish mines, but we can very easily uh, tank anything and everything that they throw in our mouth. Except for magic damage. That is something that is still very scary. So, do be careful of the gnomes. Especially if you don't know what weapon they have. They have a pickaxe. It's okay. You can fight them. If they don't have a pickaxe, well, in that case... Be very, very wary. You don't know if you're going to get killed in one hit, or if you're going to get killed in two hits, or if you're going to be one of those super lucky guys that die in three hits. Either way, you don't want to get hit by lightning. So, definitely keep your eyes open for that. But again, I'm just going to grab all of the gold in this area. And we don't need to do a full clear, but I do want to grab gold along my way just to save time so we don't have to, you know, double... Double back and do it all again. Because there is a cursed pickaxe in my hand, I need to try and break it as quickly as I can. I don't think there's going to be too many enemies up here. But the enemies we do find, well, let's just say we can easily take care of them or we'll just run away. One of the two. No big deal. There goes our cursed pickaxe, and we do have another one. I could equip it now, but in this next area, since we haven't really explored here, we could encounter a lot of enemies. 
So, probably best not to equip another cursed item. So we have access to our staffs of lightning or a weapon. Or we could just equip this ring of warning, which we found, and uh, we'll be absolutely good. How do you block with your inventory? If you hold spacebar and you press tab, you'll still be blocking. If you have your inventory and you hold spacebar, you'll still be blocking. That's, that's, that's literally just that. <laughs> you just hold spacebar. <laughs> it's, you block like normal. You just open up your inventory separately. It's all good. It's nothing crazy. Ah, okay, that's something crazy. We don't want to deal with those guys. Uh, so instead, that's what we're going to do. We're just going to break our pickaxe. Then we're going to grab our cursed staff. And we're going to take care of the gnomies. So that we can go homies. Okay. Just like that, we can make our way over to a troll that is basically dead. Oh, Interesting. Interesting. Devilish! Hello, welcome on in. Maybe I just right-click the block? No. Wait, do you? Did you change your keybinds? I'm just going to kill the troll here. I don't want to deal with him. And we're going to go up to the shopkeeper. We'll see what he's selling. He's selling speed potions and alembic. Selling some lockpicks and other stuff. Nothing here is really interesting. But what I will do is I will buy all of his cheap items. With the purpose of reselling them back. And gaining a little bit of trading skills. So we can maybe see more of what he is selling. Maybe we get access to something we really want. We don't know. So, if you look at the buyback, you'll know whether or not you can sell stuff back. Serviceable, serviceable, decrepit. Uh, do we want to buy anything of this other stuff? Honestly, at this point, I don't really care. We could buy a potion of speed to go really fast. That's okay. You guys are lucky! It's impossible to hold block in your inventory on the Nintendo Switch. You're on Nintendo Switch, yeah, that makes it a lot more difficult. Okie dokie. Well, there's a Nomeo over here. We'll just poke him in the face until he flops on over. Uh, get our pickaxe, the worn one. And go through the wall over here because there's more gold. Definitely want the gold. I'm also going to change my appraisal to the other pickaxe just so that I can see whether or not it's something that's usable. And I apologize for the dark screen. Luckily, you guys have a filter on so you guys can see a little bit better. I am not seeing very well. To me, it's very dark. But that's okay. That's okay. I want you guys to have a good viewing experience. So, looks like we've basically taken care of all the gnomes. There's probably more out there, but I'm not really that phased. It's just a little bit more gold, a little bit more experience. I'm not really here for the experience. I'm mostly here for the gold. Staff of Lightning, so we'll just zappy zappy. Zappy zappy. We well, took one hit, unfortunately, but that's okay. Uh, let's toss this, toss that. Got another serviceable shield. We got two more shields. Fantastic! That's great news for us, because more shields means more blocking. More blocking means more armor, and more armor means less death, less damage, less things to worry about. In fact, at this point, we don't need to worry about anything in the game anymore. Except for magic and fire. And minotaurs, probably. But, you know, those are the exceptions. They're not the rules. It's, it's pretty, pretty big. Did you switch space? And now that... Now that's worked, but it's so strange to keep. Uh, you could probably try and change all of the spacebar keybinds to right-click. If you want to. That might make a difference. But... What I can say is... Having them all on one button is also very helpful. And you don't need to, you know, think about it, wonder about it. There's nothing... Uh, nothing really stopping you, holding you back. Nothing that you need to consider. Uh, so I think it's pretty great. Just gonna mine my way through here. Uh, looks like that is all of the pickaxes that I am willing to spend. We've got three. We don't need three, but we have three. And let's just go get our chest plate back. Because the chest plate is still here. We dropped it along with another blessed pickaxe. Yeah, let's get out of here. Equip that and just keep going. So I'm very slow right now. I am too slow right now. 
I don't like being this slow. <laughs> this is bad. I can't see where we are. It's so dark. It looks like we found mine town at least. That helps. Probably a good idea to toss all of my staffs here in front of mine town. You know what? This pickaxe is basically uh, terrible. I'm just gonna drop all of his staffs of lightning. Maybe hold on to one. I'll drop the chest plate and the helmet there as well, because those are all very heavy items. That way, we can free up our weight. We can move around very freely. And we can basically just do what we want. Cursed opening staff. I don't know why I've got a cursed opening staff as well. But okay. There's a spider. We'll just block and let Conan take care of the spider. There we go. And I'm just gonna keep going. We're just gonna keep going. We could make friends with this guy. Instead... I am just gonna make him angry and question my life choices. <laughs> it's fine! It's fine! There should be a troll through here. We will aggro the troll. Again, we're just gonna hold spacebar. We've got a companion. He's doing all of the work for us. We don't need to think about it. It's nothing special, nothing spectacular. Nothing crazy going on here. And I feel like we are pushing our luck if we stay here for too much longer. So, let's leave. Look at that, we found a serviceable Alemic. We never had to buy one. Again, just gonna block here. Just gonna block here. I know we're taking damage, but Conan's coming. Conan will take care of him. And because of that, we're home free. We can grab all of our belongings again and just get the heck out of here. Just like that. Okay, I'm gonna tell Conan to wait because we don't want him to follow us. And we're just gonna keep going. This guy's got a spear. I actually really want that spear, that polo. And those gloves are very useful to us. That's another one extra AC. As well as having a new weapon. Our weapon might break at any moment. If that happens, that's sad. Also, this is decrepit. Never mind. We don't want that. It's that terrible. <laughs> if it's decrepit, it'll break at any moment. These ones are serviceable, so we might have one less AC. But at the least, we don't have to worry about, you know, happy fun times being spoiled for us. And again, we're just gonna make the humans angry. This person over here has some iron boots for us. We're just gonna walk in there. We're gonna go grab those iron boots while we use blocking. Uh, he also had these gloves. So again, worn gauntlets, like I said. Wait, what? Why are these random things popping up my inventory all the time? I don't get it. That's so annoying. That's okay, though. It's okay. So yeah, we're just gonna equip the staff. We're gonna go and speak to some of the traders. Uh, if there are humans that have bows, we're just gonna kill them as quickly as we can and not think about them. There's staffs being sold here. We could sell our staffs, but you know what? I'm gonna hold on to mine just because why not? And I'm not really gonna worry about the equipment to sell or anything like that either. Uh, we're, we're actually all good. We will sell the torches, however, because they weigh a bit and we've got a lantern. Oh, there you have a lot of... What you would call it? Is he just scared of me? <laughs> Sir, why are you afraid? It's not that scary. It's just a shield. I'm just holding space bar. Okay. Whoa. I don't get why that happens, but it's annoying. It's very, very annoying. Okay, this shield's worn. I'm kind of waiting for him. Yeah, there we go. To restore his health. The moment his health is restored, he'll start chasing us instead of walking away. And then... Well... I guess, I guess we might have to actually just kill him. <laughs> hey, look at that, we got some mana potions. That is great. Now, if we really want, we can go out there, go to the special area, uh, you know, grab some extra stuff. I don't normally go there because I don't care about chests, but you guys are more than welcome to do so. So, we'll tell Conan to wait again. We're not gonna worry about details. We'll just grab a couple of stuff on our way and keep that is all we really want to do. We just want to keep going, 
We just want to break these staffs as quickly as we can. We just want to see how far we can get. And over here, we've got a skeleton that's going to be hitting us a couple of times. Now, we can unleash a few more enemies. There's normally a couple of enemies inside of these cages. Over here, there's a human. Okay, human doesn't want to come and fight us. That's fine. Over here, we could potentially get some slimes. There we go. We're gonna wait for them to both attack us. Uh, notice our bronze shield. We're up 82 and blocking. We have 46 AC, meaning we're two AC away from being able to tank a Minotaur. That is insane. That is fascinating. That is crazy. And it's going up rapidly. So what can I say? That's 90. <laughs> Look at that, 48 AC. We can now officially tank a Minotaur, uh, but our shield will probably end up breaking, so probably best to not risk it. Unless we've got a bunch of other things to help us. Alrighty, so shield we're going to toss. A staff of lightning we're going to toss. We're not going to worry about it. We're just going to keep moving. But yeah. It's crazy that you can tank Minotaurs. It's crazy that you can tank them on level 4. <laughs> That's what I'm going to say. It's crazy that you can tank them on level 4. It's, it's ridiculous. That shouldn't be the thing. That should not be allowed. But it is. It is very normal in Barony. Because Blockin is overpowered. And I am literally trying to bring a change to it. By showing the way. Now I will admit we got quite lucky with the amount of shields we got. But still. Still, it's ridiculous. Uh, it looks like there is a shopkeeper over here that sells scrolls and things. And we'll buy his mana potions because they're always nice to have. He's got scrolls of repair. We don't really need them. He's got a book of remove curse, teleportation. And we've got a book of dig. That's always nice to have. And lightning. Now, it's going to take a very long time for us to gain enough magic skill to learn any of that stuff. But I will buy his scrolls of other things. Uh, we bought a scroll, for those of you wondering, of Remove Curse, just in case we need to remove curses. We also bought two scrolls of Repair, because we might want to repair items. I'm not saying we will want to repair them, but we might want to. Okay, there's another skeleton behind me. Oh, this guy's got a, a, a polearm! We want that polearm! Don't let it break! Yeah, we got another polearm! Woohoo! Uh, we definitely don't need all of his shields, but... We want to get to 100 blocking. So, I'm just going to toss some of this stuff. I'm just going to wait here for a moment. We're so close to 100. In fact, let me... Staff of locking. Ah, might as well use it. Why not? Might as well burn my mana. Why not? And yeah, there we go. It's gone. So, detect food. Oh, that's fun. Excuse me, troll. Do you actually mind hitting me? Thank you. 50 AC. Again, floor four. 50 AC. Mm. Let's think about this. If you have 60 AC, you can tank anything in the game. Literally anything in the game. And now we've got 52. So, not only can our shields never break. Well, 53 AC. It's floor four, and we have the whole game ahead of us. <laughs> so, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Okay, it's a thing. It's a thing that we gotta do, Wolf. It's a thing I don't quite like, but it's a thing that's just normal. Who here thinks blocking is overpowered? Your shields can never break once you get to 100. That's right. I can show that over here. Let me just eat a moldy cheese, I guess. Uh, and if we go to our skills, if we go to blocking, if we go to legend of shields will never degrade on hit. So our shields will never break. It's floor four. The game has literally just started. And, you know, we are basically, I want to start basically immortal. You aren't immortal. You are still vulnerable to two things. The first, magic. Magic will kill you. If we get hit by three staffs of lightning hits, we're dead. That's it. End of story. Avoid magic. Number two. 
The other thing that can hurt us is fire. We are not immune to fire. Now, if we played a different race, like a skeleton or an automaton, we would be immune to fire. And then we literally don't have to worry about basically the whole game. Basically the entire game. Which is just, it's ridiculous. It's just ridiculous. But it's fine. We're here. We're gonna have some fun. I haven't found any amulets of uh, Olympic swimming, but we did find poison resistance. Which helps. Just gonna let Conan go out there. I don't feel like tanking. <laughs> just because we can. We'll, uh, we'll have him be the sacrificial lamb. And just keep on moving. We also found the exit, so if we want to leave, we can. But for now... For now, we're just gonna run around. Go for the doors we can. See if we can't find the Olympic swimming amulet. That would be nice. If we can't... Well, then we can't. Oh, this guy's got magic reflection. That is even better. So now, we actually are immune to basically everything in the game because magic can no longer hurt us. <laughs> well, at least until the cloak breaks. <laughs> Once the cloak breaks, you know, it's that that's GG. But <laughs> until then, we don't have to think about it. We don't have to worry about it. We got unlucky that we didn't get any, uh, any cloaks. Ah, there we go! Water breathing thing up above. Oh, it's cursed! But we do have to remove curse. You know what? I'm gonna use it because I'd much rather have water breathing and be able to move through the water freely than hold on to it to uncurse something else later down the line. I actually asked two of the developers about blocking. They said they feel like it is not overpowered due to magic damage in later levels. And pose. Okay. Okay. Uh, I mean, like, that's that's the thing. And a lot of people say blocking isn't overpowered. I actually have a post up. If you guys want to go to the Barony Discord server, if you don't know where it is, I've got a post in the suggestions forums. School blocking is OP. A lot of people think it's not. They all thumbs it down. Uh, but, yeah. The way I see it is even though magic can do a lot of damage, it is a very, very easy telltale thing that you can avoid. That goblin that we just spotted from a mile away, we know has magic. And now we just do this. Boom, boom. Okay, it's got magic reflection as well. But we just do this. We just kill him from a distance. And all of a sudden, he's no longer a threat. Because we can identify it immediately. The only things that are dangerous to us is magic and fire. The only things. In other words, we basically don't have to worry about anything that's going to be, you know, anything that could potentially hurt us. Because everything that could potentially hurt us is now no longer a threat. That, from level 4 all the way up to level 35. That's what I think, that's why I think blocking is overpowered. That's, that's my theory, you know. Same with it, like, same with the arrows. If we know, if we can tell they're arrows, yeah, sure. Then, you know, it's no big deal. And you can see these arrow traps, but of course, if you get hit by a trap, you get hit by a trap. It's like a boulder. If a boulder falls on your head, you're basically just dead. Which is fun, really? So, full on block and magic immunity, but you can take damage from lava? Pretty much, yeah. Pretty much. Just gonna quickly get rid of Mr. Human over here, because, well, he might have a magic reflection cloak, which we still have, by the way. In other words, we take zero damage from anything in the game, except for fire at this point. Of course, the moment our cloak breaks, you know, it's broken, then that's gone, but we have scrolls of repair, so... All of a sudden, nothing in the game can hurt us anymore. <laughs> Which is dumb. It's dumb. We can take a Minotaur. It's floor four. It is ridiculous. This shouldn't be the case. But that's, again, it's my humble opinion. I don't know. Everyone's entitled to their own opinion. So, we're just gonna go through here. And we're gonna go on in. I agree with you. Blocking is very strong and needs just minor tweaks. I agree. I agree. So, my biggest 
My biggest thing, my biggest problem, is you can get up to 40 points in blocking, which gives you 14. 14 AC. Now think about it like this. Two, five, eight, 11. I have 11 AC with all my armor. And with just using a torch, I can get up to 14 AC. Without needing any sort of extra special things, or I don't need to do anything beyond the normal. I'm just holding spacebar while having a torch in my hand. That's it! That needs to be stopped. That needs to be nerfed. That needs to, that needs that needs a change. That is where the biggest biggest problem of it lies. Later on, blocking kind of scales into the game. But the way it can scale very easy is like vampires, guys. You know vampires? You just spam levitation, bada boom, bada boom. Uh, congratulations, you now know Force Bolt, and nothing in the game matters anymore because you just blast them to death from a distance without needing any mana. Yeah, blocking's kind of like that. At least that's the way I see it. And it needs a change. Make that guy angry at me because yeah, I don't really want. Well, okay, you sir, you wait right there because there's still another troll. And you know what? Did we get the gold? Yeah, let's get the goals. Why not? We're here. We might as well. How would I fix blocking? I don't think there's any one way to fix it. I've mentioned a lot of different ways in the bounty, like, suggestion forum over there that I created. Uh, I've suggested you can scale the AC. You can change the AC so that you don't become as strong as quickly. But that requires a bit of fancy math and stuff, and I don't know if the devs want to do it. There is... Changing it so that you don't block all of the damage. You know how magic resistance, even if you have five sources of magic resistance, you can't block every... you can't block all the damage? Kind of like that. That's how I feel like blocking should be. I mean, think about it like this. There's a giant troll. You might be in full metal armor, you might have full on Kevlar, you might have all the protection you want, but if you get hit by a truck, that's still gonna hurt. It's the same with getting shot, you might have a Kevlar vest, but you know what, that Kevlar vest doesn't protect you from the bruises and stuff of the impact. It just spreads the impact out and, you know, allows you to survive it. We need to do something like that. Or something else. I, there's there's a lot of good suggestions inside that forum. All I know is blocking needs to change. You guys have any suggestions for the blocking? Let me think about it. I guess there's been anything over here that's been giving us any sort of troubles. Nothing. Literally nothing. There was that. Oh, okay. He turned at the last second, but that's okay. Woo hoo hoo hoo! We. Uh, this is one of the things you gotta look out for. Unfortunately, I kind of just went ham on him because we had this pillar in our way. But if you see... Let me just drop the arrows over here. If you see that slight tint of yellow, you know it has fire arrows. If you know they've got fire arrows, that's the only other thing, other than magic, that you are weak to. Luckily, you'll mostly see it here in the swamps and... There's a lot of water around in the swamp, so you can very easily just jump into the water afterwards. Yeah, just something to keep in mind, something you gotta look out for. And let's get out of here! To the ghouls! Do we see for succubus? No succubus, what potion? Booze? Booze is nice. I like boost. I'm gonna equip this, but I will put a different spear on my hotbar. Uh, we don't need these boots. These boots are very heavy. I don't like these boots. But they are providing us one extra armor, which does help. It is a benefit. But yes. Other different types of shields and bounty. If there is, they could make some shields have a percentage of physical absorption, and some shields have a chip, chip damage. Maybe. Yeah. 
Yeah, maybe. That could be a thing. And yes, there are many different shields you get. Wooden shields, bronze shields, iron shields, steel shields, magic resistance shields, and mirror shields. So there are plenty of options. Okay, here, this is one area where you might take some damage as well. Uh, the reason you might take damage here is because ghouls, or at least these ghouls, some of them have a thing called Vampiric Aura. Vampiric Aura, you can have 1 million AC. They will still deal true damage through all of it. So something you need to be aware of. It's not that big of a deal. We're just going to drink a Strength Potion as a thingy. We're also going to drink our other uh, booze. This gives our, a, us a very good Strength Boost. And then we're just going to trigger them. And we should be able to kill them very quickly before they can even react. And just like that, we've basically taken out all of the threat. From here on forwards, it gets a lot easier. Because once you open a door, they will spawn behind the graves. And as long as they're behind the graves, they don't actually come out in a large group. And that's what makes these ghouls kind of scary. If they come at you in numbers. Because they don't come at us in numbers, we could just force our way through. Just like that. Any sort of strength character can do this. We're just using a charge attack. We hit them once. After the charge attack is done, we hit them again. And they're basically dead. Charge attack. Hit them. Just like that. We do have Conan here to help as well, but honestly, we could have done this without Conan. Very easily without Conan. Just like that. The whole of ghouls is cleared. <laughs> Strength in numbers. Exactly, exactly. I'm not, again, I'm not going to go out of my way to find uh, the chest back there. We do have a staff of opening, so I could just open them up. It's no big deal. But personally, I don't really care. So I'm just not going to do it. What I will do is I'll come here for the levitation potions, and then we're just going to go. We're gonna get out of here. We still have our magic reflection go, go that away. Literally almost nothing in the game can hurt us except for fire. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. This is ridiculous. But <laughs> how many times can I say it before it will be heard? Ah! Uh, ah! Jump in the water! He's got fire! Where'd he go? Is he coming this way? Oh yeah, there he is. So again, this guy's got both magic reflection and fire arrows. But yeah, we could just easily take care of them in distance, either with a bow, magic, film weapons, anything. Literally anything. So this guy, you can see, he only has knockback arrows. As long as we're blocking, he won't do any damage to us. And I feel like that's pretty much it. There's not much more in this war for us. <laughs> There's a human. I guess we can make friends with Brunhilda. Wait, yeah, I'm just gonna get out of here. Poison resistance. This is the part where we start using it. Uh, water swimming, no longer useful. We're gonna get rid of it. The only time when we'll need to swim now will be pretty much in the crystal caves like that's it's so far away we don't need it uh i'm gonna put this bread just because we can and here we go we are on floor 11 we have 55 ac with a lantern we have a shield that gives us a total of 63 allowing us to tank cockatrice and orpheus the final boss of the game and it's floor 11, not floor 35. <laughs> it's so dumb. It's so dumb. Blocking, guys. If you want to have a great time, just do blocking. Okay, here's another thing that you can be afraid of. Uh, the red arrows, those are arrows of piercing. They will pierce through your armor. But it's not a... It's not the end of the world. Okay, Conan might burn to death here. Do we try and keep Conan alive? He's level 34. Let's not have to sleep. Oh my goodness! Lightning Dome! 
probably don't have to shock him, but I feel like it, so I'm gonna throw it just because we can. I wish I could just go to sleep. You know, just take a little nap, get all my, all my health back. No problem. Probably die when something attacks you. <laughs> Scorpion. Easy. Just stab him in the back. We found the place that's going to be a huge help to us. Oh, our magic reflection broke. Well, I guess we could just repair it. With the scrolls we bought, because why not? So again, we're immune to magic and we're immune to basically all physical damage. Which is fantastic! <laughs> it is a beautiful day. A beautiful day. I say okay. Okay, it's a beautiful day. Uh, tell him to wait. I don't want... I don't want Mr... Mr. Uh, Conan to do anything funny. So you, sir, you just wait right there. Okay, again, piercing arrows, something we have to be afraid of. But other than that, there's not much. Piercing fire magic. <laughs> that's, that's it. <laughs> it's, uh, you know, that's locked. We're just leaving. We're getting out of here. It don't matter. Oh, I'm hungry. Uh, let's eat a fish. Yeah, we'll tell Conan to wait. In fact, we'll tell him to sleep. And then we're going to go over here with our Ring of Might. Just push all of these boulders and reduce all incoming magic damage by 50%. Meaning we take almost no physical damage and we take almost no magic damage. Just wait until we find a ring and a shield of magic resistance. Oh yeah, then we're a real tank. Yippee! <laughs> it's gonna be great fun, ain't it? gonna go there. I'm gonna push this one in here. Get this guy in the back corner. Get this guy all the way down. Nope. That's fine. That's fine. There we go. <laughs> I nearly messed that up. <laughs> that could have been bad, but it's fine. It's fine. It's no big deal. Let's just get these boulders all in position. But I don't need to think about them anymore. Get this guy in position so we don't need to think about it anymore. And I messed up with this one over here a little bit, but at the same time, it's not a big deal. There we go. Last but not least, we get rid of our gloves, we grab our new ones, and now our resistance to magic goes up by 50%, which is fantastic. We'll also grab all of the gold because why not? It's gold, might as well use it. It's here. We could just leave it here, but I'm at a point of happy. And we're just gonna be poor! <laughs> we also have a couple of gems we can sell, but honestly, I'm not really too bothered with those. It looks like here is a shopkeeper. Uh, he sells food, but that means we can also buy potions of healing. We can buy cure ailments. Now, remember what I said? Fire is our weakness. Cure ailment beats fire. So, at this point, not only are we immune to burning, to some degree, not, not fully, uh, we're immune to magic, and we're immune to physical damage. We are a super tank. We are absolute god mode right now. Although, you know, we only had three uh, cure element potions, so it's not like we're pure god mode. But still, still, it's golden. This is going to get rid of him. We're going to grab a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Uh, why are we immune to fuse physical attack? Because I've got 57 AC. Or I could block the shield and have 65. Meaning, basically, nothing can hurt me. Then again, boulders could probably kill me. Yeah, you know what? We're not immune to all damage. Boulders can still kill us. Therefore, blocking is not OP. 
you know, I just don't have to worry about 99% of things in the game right now. <laughs> it's so, it's fine. It's fine. Absolutely fine. Yep, there we go. Don't need to worry about a thing. Ah, poison! I don't want to be poisoned. Hey, gen armor. Do you want to hold on to that, or do I want to toss it? Speaking of which, we don't need the Ring of Might. I will raise the Ring of Warning just because I like to see where things are so we can kill them very quickly and easily without needing to think about it. We also dropped the Spellbook. Spellbook of 150, light? That's ah, it's Bolt. It's fine, though, it's fine. Okay! So we get on rid of him and her and this little scorpion. And we're just gonna keep going. We're gonna kill the human because he might have a shield of... <laughs> I don't know why I did that. I just felt like it, okay. Again, we're looking for another cloak of magic reflection, which we just found. That's great. It's the only reason I'm killing the humans. Arise, I really don't care about them. They don't deal that they don't do that much for us. Uh, staff of coal. We don't have another pole arm. That's unfortunate. That's very unfortunate because we have 96 in pole arms, and now how do we do damage to a minotaur? You know? I guess we can just blast him with our magic. Why not? Why not? Might as well. Uh, put this on six. No, it's Voidlock! Hey! A pro blocker! How you doing, my guy? Hey, Void, how do you like this? Magic reflection? 48, I mean 58 AC. And 50% magic resistance. Also immune to fire. How do you like this? <laughs> I think it's pretty broken, but it's fine. It's fine. Uh, Conan, you mind helping here for a moment? I'd appreciate that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. There we go. Thank you very much. Uh, next up, we're just gonna grab the orb. Minotaur shouldn't be doing a lot of damage to us, if any at all, because blocking. And then Conan could deal with the damage, because. Why do you need to play the game if you can just hold spacebar? <laughs> you know what? I can't even hold spacebar with my lantern and just not care. But I'm gonna burn a minotaur just so he dies a little bit faster. What you do is use the sword on the minnow's pole arm. What? Um, uh, I'm just gonna nod and smile. Yeah. Yeah, that's just not in small. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, definitely. Yeah, 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 yeah. Totally, totally. Yeah, just do that thing. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I should have bought food at that other food store. That might have been a mistake, but ah, it's fine. You know what I should do? I should condense these uh, healing potions. So we have them all in a single stack instead of having them spread across uh, several stacks. Then we're just going to grab the speed potions. We're going to drink them. And we're just going to go zoom. Zoo, get on out of here! Conjure is your favorite class to level up blocking? Yeah, Conjure is great for blocking because you've got your skeleton to do everything. And if you stay alive, your skeleton stays alive, you don't kill anything, your skeleton kills everything, you're basically just doing everything for free. You know? It's a free game. It's one of the craziest combinations. One of the few classes I do it on, but... Eh. Did we toss the, the gems? We don't need the gold. I'd rather take the, the speed potions. Because zooming is fun! I like to go zoom! And here we go. So we could make a bunch of extra healing potions if we want to. But I'm not going to abuse alchemy. Alchemy. We're using blocking already. Blocking's already overpowered as is. We don't need to add alchemy into the mix and get ourselves unlimited healing. We'll just use the basic potions we find. Probably a bad idea, but it's okay. It's fine. Get ourselves some tamale. Get ourselves another fishy. Come around here. Get ourselves more tamale. Nice! All the food we need. Another human, does he have magic reflection? That's the question. 
It does not have magic reflection. Okay. And we don't care. Hey, that's a scroll of repair. Do we have a scroll of identify? We don't. Okay, but we do have two repair scrolls. I will use one on the worn cloak of magic reflection, because again, if we take zero magic damage and zero physical damage, well, what do you want me to say? It's, it is what it is. <laughs> it is what it is. And in the meantime, we're just going to run around, stab everything in the face, or I guess poke them, and then not really worry about it. We're just gonna keep going. We're gonna keep going up. Oh, here's something. What the? This is fine. And he's dead. Don't need to think about it. Uh, I'm gonna inspect the shield. If this is blessed, it's an upgrade to what we have. Unfortunately, it's cursed. We could remove curse it. But even if we do, it's still the same amount of AC as our other shield. Only... We lose the remove curse scroll, so what was the point of it? You know what I mean? Tomali, Tomali. We'll toss the moldy Tomali. Got slightly aged. That's nice. Serviceable, mine serviceable as well. Uh, that's the other nice thing. Your lanterns and things don't break when blocking, they just slowly burn over time. Oh, yeah. Tinker's kit because why not? Yeah, pretty much you can block off a Tinker's kit. You don't have to worry about a thing. Where's the exit? It has to be here somewhere, right? Oh, there it is. I knew it was here somewhere. So, from this point forwards, magic is going to start becoming a common thing. Meaning, from this point onwards, you know, we might want to consider staying back just a little bit and being mindful. Or maybe just remove the source of light so that you aren't seen. And at that point, you can run around like crazy and just take out anything in the dark. This could be a scroll of identify. It's fire, unfortunately. Look of the lich! Go then! Don't you do it! Don't you do it! But you can grab that, because why not, sir? You use shields too, and then you're overpowered as well. And we get eh, nothing really good as gloves of dexterity. There's a crossbow, but do I want it? I don't really care for it. It's another speed potion. Again, we could make extra healing potions if we want, but I'm not going to. Instead, I'm just going to buy more repair scrolls, so, you know, we're immune to magic. And we're just going to keep going. Because we can. <laughs> Why not? Here's a little levitation potion. That is fruit juice. Uh, I'm going to drink the fruit juice we have. We're just gonna stay back because they're ranged to do magic. You know, we could just we could just lose the force bolt thing. You don't need any crazy spells, but if you have them, might as well. Fish! I want that fish! I'm gonna get H to Molly. Gonna drink all these fountains. Ooh, wait, hold on. Yes! Necklace of Pick up a bomb. Um, let's see if it's cursed. It is cursed! Oh no! If only we had removed curse. That's why we bought them removed curse earlier. They're very, very useful uh, later on. Just gonna block him. Not gonna think about it. And just gonna keep going. Mr. Nomeo's dead. We'll grab his fish. And I think from this point on forwards, we'll just get out of here. We'll use levitation. We're gonna press T, we're gonna go through the lava, and here we go. You're dead. You're dead. <laughs> uh, mana potion. Eh, okay. Spell books. Nothing here is healing. Uh, there's an extra healing potion, that's useful. 
Let's just stack these. We'll yoink the extra healing. We don't need the polymorph. We don't need the water, but I will grab it anyway. Just stab him. Stab him. Don't think about it. Uh, that could be identify. That is identify. Let's go. We'll identify Gungnir, and now we're going to use our repair on Gungnir. We'll use the other repair on Gungnir. We've got a really decent weapon. We still have one more repair scroll for, you know, the other piece of armor we have. Uh, there's another repair scroll over here, so that's great too. Let's go! Then we want the orbs! Definitely not going to use strength since, you know, Gungnir. Do we want the feather? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, you can watch some of my Punisher runs. I will do a Punisher tutorial eventually, but right now... Right now, the thing is... I am actually doing a race guides. After the race guides, I'm going to do new player guides. After all of those, and there's going to be a couple, uh, only then will I start working on class guides again. Because I really want to get the race stuff out of the way. They are kind of important, at least to me. Oh, oh. <laughs> that nearly hit us, but yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll get there. We'll get there. You just gotta be patient with me, okay? You just gotta be patient. Look at that! Ghouls! That does nothing! Vampire! Who does technically do magic damage, but nothing! And let's keep going! Can we just break all the booze because we can? Yeah, why not? Because we can. Just like that. Okay, again, he does range damage, so we just got to range. Because of my cloak, which I can now repair, we took no damage from his spells. Confuse! Hello! Oh, you nearly just zapped me! That could have hurt, sir! That could have hurt! Yeah, I think let's get out of here. There's nothing too crazy going on. I mean, we could go around and kill every last thing, but... Eh. What's the point? Hey, it's Polymorph! <laughs> we turned Conan into a cockatrice! Conan became a cockatrice! That is crazy! Oh, sir! That is my... You killed my thing! My troll! My experience! Oh, wow, we actually ate too much? Huh. I was just trying to free up my, uh, my inventory from cloaks. Yeah, we actually do have too much. Um... I, um... Wait, we don't need a moldy fish. If we get to a point where we need to drop something, I'm actually just gonna combine some of our potions. And we'll probably just end up doing a little something different. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Still have two levitation potions. Not an exit. That's not the exit we take. We go to hell. We always go to hell. This could be a book of extra healing. If it is, we'll pick it up. Just gonna wait for it for a moment. That's ah, a book of lightning. How far away are we from learning lightning? I actually can't tell because Conan. <laughs> um, it's fine. Ah, we're really close. I'm gonna hold on to this. Just because we're so close. Still have a staff of thingy. Ooh. This is the part where we don't really need the lanterns anymore. So I think I'm just gonna equip my shield. And then we'll go like this. Worn again. So again, I'll just use a repair scroll on my cloak. And bada boom, bada bam. We're good seas. Another restored mana potion. This one's cursed, so we'll just toss it. And use our levitation potion. Go on through. We're going straight to hell. We're not skipping it. We're just doing a thing. Okay. Don't need any of that. Although those bear traps are very useful. 
I'm confused. You know what? I'm just gonna go straight to hell. We don't want to be here. I don't like this place. It's the underworld, okay? The underworld. It's a place of nightmares. Are we hungry? We are hungry. Uh, let's just eat one fish. We'll toss the bottle. Uh, we have daggers we can use, but we don't need to worry about magic reflection. So I guess we'll just toss those and go look for something to make friends with. Like this guy. Who has piercing arrows? And a staff of cold. Which we technically don't need, but... Eh. Spellbook of Dig, so we don't need the pickaxes anymore. I will hold on to one just so we don't always have to use mana. Another amulet of magic reflection. So again, immune to physical, immune to magic. We're basically I don't I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say, guys. It, it's ridiculous. It's actually ridiculous. That stuff. And just like that, we don't have to think or worry about anything here. I will, however, put a another cloak. <laughs> he slowed himself. I will put another cloak on my hotbar chest because it's good to have it and not need it. And need it and not have it. Uh, worn cloak. Okay. She laughed, giving herself away. Uh, I want this chest piece. Ah, I'm confused! Where'd he go? Potion, summoning monsters as cleric and leveling blocking. Yeah, I guess that's true. I wouldn't... Wait, actually, you know what, Joker, why do you say that um, summoning monsters as... Simply B! Yo, it finally triggered! Let's go! Tier 1 subscriber Simplime2021 has resubbed for 25 months. Let's go! Thank you for the 25 months, Simply B! Absolute legend, you! Absolute legend! Can't believe it's been that long, though. And, and, I'm really glad we figured out what was up. What was up with it, anyway? It worked this time! Oh, did it not, not trigger last time? In that case, I think next time, if it doesn't trigger, uh, what you might want to do... What you might want to do is... Hold on, sorry. Distractions! Distractions all over the place. What you might want to do, and I will finish my sentence this time. I'm totally not 100% getting distracted again. Uh, what you totally want to do... Do we do it again, chat? No, I'm not going to do it. What you want to do is just refresh the page, maybe. Just reload the page. I don't know if it was because of the day. Ooh, walking over spike traps is bad. Don't do that, Lyceum. Ooh. Ooh, we're hurting. We're really hurting right now. I guess we just drink a potion of extra healing for 200 health. Woof, and woof, suddenly woof, we're not woof, hurting woof. anymore. Great! Welcome Santai Golakira 0712 to the Wolf Pack. Being a monk helps with cursed hunger problems? Are you just spamming facts? Woof woof. Woof woof to you too! What's crack a -lockin'? Oh my goodness, there's so many! There's so many! Ah! Okay, put three! There's so many! Why is there so many? <laughs> I'm fine! I'm fine! Everything's fine! Yeah, this, this is great! So far the plan! It was script the content, man! Yep, yep, totally, totally, yep! <laughs> that was nuts! Okay. Please drop the Book of Healing. It's not Book of Healing. Uh, none of these potions are healing, actually. Yeah, that's confusion. That's booze. You know what? Booze is good, too. Let's just drink the booze. There we go. Don't need the bottle anymore. 
Did we drink the other potions? I don't think so. And still no book of healing, but again, it's fine. Well, I got the staff over here. Just look at the Minotaur because why do we want to care? <laughs> and we're good! Let me go once in your party guarantees a successful run. <laughs> That's funny. I like it. I like it. Oh, jeez. I think I'm going to put a, 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 a magic reflection on me on just because why not? And we don't have... We don't have the other thing. Um, pushing a healing. Hello. Yoink. Just equip that and go this way. There's a demon and a goat man over there. I want to fight the goat man. We'll just drink two mana potions so we have mana for a force bolt again. Since he's got magic. And we're just going to try avoid... Um, that spike traps because ow 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 that was that was not that was not part of the plan that's not the way that was supposed to go let's see physical damage demon okay in that case no big deal we'll just smack him in the face and i really want to get out of here potion of healing potion of healing uh, that's confusion so we don't care about that you know what? let's just drink these boop, boop. back to full health easy peasy lemon squeezy last floor of hell before we have to deal with the boss fight okay okay that's a potion of healing it is Oh, he went around! The demon became smart! <laughs> and the demon is no more! Well, let's just do a little bit of this. A little bit of that. By the way, you don't have to come to hell. Uh, if you want to go to hell, you can. It's very dangerous. Everything that you are weak to is right here. But, you know, if you know how to play. I always come here because Hearts is just boring to me. So we just go fight Baffle. Get it over and done with. Hey, we learned lightning. So now we'll equip lightning permanently. We don't worry about anything else. Huzzah! Lightning! How you doing, Baffle? Long time no see. Drink a speed potion because I can. Uh, we're running up right to his face and spoke him. What? I got scammed. He ran away instantly. Hey, a life-saving magic reflection. I'm just gonna equip magic reflection. Apho's dead because... Yeah. Why wouldn't he be dead? Minotaurs. We don't care. <laughs> What's the point? What's the point? Bandage you? Uh, I mean, but, like, Void, we just haven't had a chance of doing anything. We still have to play Streets of Rogue, too, not just Barney. Gotta be grinding some Steam World Heist on the hardest difficulty? I don't know what Steam World Heist is, but good luck! It sounds like it could be an interesting game, but I have no idea. I missed everything! Okay. There's a shadow on me, but that's fine. I'm just gonna pew pew this guy in the distance. And again, be on our way. Toss out everything we don't want, anything we don't need. Wow! Literally everything! These guys are dodging! They're trained in the arts! They're trained in the supernatural arts! What was that? Okay, we're just gonna back up. 
keep that range. If we could just poke him, it's fine. That would work. Or we could just use magic. I'm gonna opt with just using the last of our staffs because why not? We can. Okay, we're gonna back up. Gonna equip a staff of lightning. I mean, staff of cold again. Just gonna spam. Go crazy. Kill the last of these demons while sidestepping. And I think that was pretty much it. That was everything. Yeah, we're done. That's hell. The hell in a nutshell. So, we just keep moving and moving until we get zooming. Now what I think about it, we don't use our speed motions. Oh well. In Hamlet, always go down, always pull the lever, and always go up this little trap door. You get yourself five extra healing and five restored magic potions, and then you can go back. Unless you're a monster, in which case, stay here. You don't, you don't need to go back. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, we'll go speak the shopkeeper. We'll just... Uh, he doesn't even have any. Hey, they're cursed. We could remove curse them, but... Eh. Do we want to? Does that matter? Let's buy a identify scroll and identify this. Look at that. Blessed Amulet of Lifesaving. The garb and the man at the shield and all of the other goodies that we want. I might as well grab all of this stuff. Again, grab the repair scrolls because why not? Levitation boots? Levitation boots! Do we care about it? Actually, not really. <laughs> I, I instantly bought it and I just sold it back. That was such a waste of money. That's, that was the worst. What are you doing, Lysiant? What are you doing? Oh, jeez. Okay, we'll buy the remove curse scroll. I'm just going to use my Lembic to combine all of our potions again. Um, of course, you know, having all of these potions doesn't make us immortal, but it does make us very strong. I'm also going to sell the levitation potion back because I'm not really too fussed about it. Now let's get out of here. No, wait, actually, before we go, we'll see if the bookstore is selling magic mapping. If he is, awesome. If not, well, then he's not selling it. Who's selling magic mapping? Let's go! Two enchant weapons, enchant armor. Uh, what about a book? Arcane mark? Okay, fireball. I'm confused. Alright, so we still have 6,000 gold. I'm gonna do two things. Firstly, I'm gonna go into the sewers. I'm gonna trade this blue orb so that we can buy a feather. Just need to swim across the water. That's fine. It's no big deal. Should we sell enchanted feather? I mean, enchanted, uh, enchanted orb. <laughs> That's, that would be funny. Uh, but yeah, we're just going to come here. We're going to buy the feather. Uh, we are going to leave this location. Uh, woof woof to you too, Ultra. We'll come in. We'll come in. How you doing? Check for slimes. No slimes. Wait, did I ever open up the... I don't think I did. We have to... Oh, I did, I did, I did. Okay, that's good. Uh, so, the general trader and the alchemist usually sells blank scrolls. Not always, but usually. So, if you need them, you know where to find them. Apparently, I had a feather as well. What is the... What is the, uh, the figure of a blob for... Magic mapping is far, so we'll just enchant this with far. There we go. Now we have six magic mapping scrolls. Not enough to get us through the whole game, but it's a decent start. And we also have one more repair scroll for something if we want it. Chat, do we go for all the legendary artifact I items, or do we just skip them? What do you guys think? Sister, the cave entrance is still sealed, is it not? It is. Why do you ask? Never mind. It's nothing. Excuse me? 
Oh, this guy's got himself some. The meteorite poison event arrows. has begun. We don't need no poison arrows. We don't aren't afraid of them. That one scares us. Although that shield might be blessed. Let's take a look. It is blessed. So now we get plus one extra armor. 59. We're not even blocking. 79. Like I said, cockatrice basically can't hurt us anymore. Cock block, here we come. But that's, uh, that's like a constitution kind of class character thing. If you are playing a mage or anything that doesn't really scale constitution, uh, half of our AC, unless we're blocking, like 32 of our AC basically comes from con. It's, it's a lot. It's a lot. Did you just say that? I did, Mika! It, and it's it's literally the name of achievement. It's what the achievement is called. It's called Cock Block. Where you block a, block a cockatrice, take like a damage from a cockatrice, you take none. It's a thing! It's an actual thing! You look it up! Just Google Barony Cock Block! <laughs> it's, it's an actual thing! <laughs> I know, it's funny! It's really funny. Barony's got some really good achievements. They've got some really good achievements. Uh, another magic reflection amulet. So again, you know, like I said before, if we basically don't have to think about... If we basically don't have to think about any sort of magic or fire, which only lasted for a second there, luckily. <laughs> that could have burnt my cloak! Then, yeah, it's good. There's the exit. So from here on forwards, I'm probably only going to use magic mapping scrolls. Except for the next floor. The next floor, we will do normally. We'll explore. Tell everyone to wait. Close the door. Because we can hear the exit Brother, here. I admit, I wish they'd hurry. Ow. It would make hey, a general store! Let's go buy more healing potions! Yay! Let's buy the blank scrolls! Yay! What was that? Magic mapping? Okay, so magic mapping for every floor now? Great. That's fine. That's fantastic. Yup, just like that. Just like that. We're gonna keep going. So, to get our chest plate, we have to go through here. Uh, again, I'm just going to tell everyone to wait. I don't really want to have to deal with them inside of this area. This is a really bad area. Fire arrows! My enemy! My mortal enemy! Magic! More enemies! Everything that's horrible is in here! Who's, whose brain idea was it to come here? Who wanted me to come here? Ah, someone banned him! That's terrible! Honestly, though, it's fine. We don't need this. We don't need that. We'll just equip this cloak. And uh, I'm going the wrong way suddenly. Through the door, through here. We just skip everything because we don't really care. We're gonna go through this little passageway because... Oh, this is less than ideal. Knockback arrows! And just like that, he is dead as well. We've got another magic reflection amulet for really equipped. And that is Dragon Mail. Now that we have Dragon Mail, we just keep moving forwards. Uh, we're gonna go through this side. We're gonna pull our little lever over here and keep on moving. Flip it over to the other side because I don't care about the go bolts. Open up the final door. And. Ta da! We made it. Except there's a bunch of boulders we gotta run through. So we're just gonna do that. Do we just tank them? I mean, we're tanky enough, right? We've got enough healing potions. Why not? And just like that, we're through. Uh, we'll use a mapping. Just keep going. We've got all the mappings we need. Is we can just go straight to Brahms and do the thing we gotta do. This is fine. This is Hurts great. Yeah, some of the people on Twitch have a lot. But, Joker, I'm legit, I'm not kidding. I will add you 800 to 1,000 Moon Rocks over on YouTube because you've literally this been first every single wrong. stream. And that's we what, you would have literally got it. Like, if, if we had the system in place. So, I legit, I'm going to do that for you. You just gotta be patient with me. Okay? 
I need to first fix the system that does it. Once I have done that, all the magic will happen. What? Everyone's dead? How did everybody die? I looked away for like two seconds. Oh man. The Del Floor 32. That's sister, fine. They'll flee from the minutes. Okay, we're right next to Brom. That's great. Absolutely fantastic. So How we're just gonna go around here through the wall, down to Brom, and I guess we'll use the spell of dig here. Tell our cleric to wait again because why not? Should probably just murder him and take his stuff. Be done with it. Swap to the other spell. You know what? There we go. We're gonna come through here. We're going to avoid the shadows by going through an angle. Go straight towards Brom. And surprise, Brom! It is me! I am the chosen one! Goodbye, Brom. That's nice knowing you. There we go. Cloak of levitation. But I'm gonna use the magic reflection for now. That lever I just pulled, there's a secret room back there that we can go through. But again, just a chest. Not really... Not really that fussed about chests, so it's it's fine. And then you, sir, come here. Our access to power has only increased since you ain't all of his belongings. Uh, it got his shield because it's blessed and has magic resistance. Now us. we don't need to worry about water walking. I'm not gonna worry about the magic resistance because again we're overpowered. Um, more magic resistance, so now suddenly 75% reduced damage in magic resistance. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, it's a thing. It's a thing. We've got strength potions, other stuff. Uh, again, I'm not really going to worry or bother about uh, details here. We'll just go, you know what, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Not enough of your runners. It's okay. Just get rid of it all. There we go. Don't need this. Don't need that. And, eh, could be nice, but don't need it. Don't need the feather either. Two, three, four, bada boom, bada bam. Let's go kick some ass. You guys ready? Face tank! Because, why? Look how little damage they do. He does no damage to us. It's basically just Yitris. Although, you know, actually, I can't say no damage. He does do the burn, and he does, like, a, a true strike every now and then. <laughs> yeah, 80% dam magic damage reduction. We've only used two basic potions. They're doing nothing. We're a god! Am I the only one who freaked out at throwing in a revival like this? We're not going to use it. Look at this. Look at this. Should this be allowed? I feel like we're just making a mockery of the game right now. We're gonna hide back here. We'll take two more potions. So we've used four basic potions so far. But the first two were basically just me kind of trolling. Just gonna go back here. Now we're just gonna stand there. Whole block, he does no damage to us. This can happen from 60 AC. From 60 AC. Again, we're just standing here. We're just tanking it because we're taking no magic damage and we're taking no physical damage. Yeah, might as well drink one extra healing potion. Why not? So yeah, this is why I'm opting. Blocking needs to be changed. And if you guys want blocking to be changed as well, please. Please, go to the Barony Discord server, okay? There is a suggestions forum under Barony General. 
Just go to blocking his OP. And just say your say. Just say your say. That's that's all we ask. Okay? Because blocking is overpowered. And it needs some change. I don't think the AC alone is the problem. But I do think that the fact that you can take basically no damage from basically everything in the entire game, except for magic, which you can very easily spot from a distance, and except for... What was it? Piercing and fire? Now again, like I said, be a skeleton. If you're a skeleton, bada boom, bada bam, fire damage literally doesn't matter. Or be an automaton. Fire damage literally doesn't matter. If you're a skeleton, you get the bonus, but you've got 20% resistance to, um, to like any sort of incoming magic, and you've got a second life. So if you get hit by a boulder, you don't instantly just die and lose the game, which is again that's, that's a whole different cup of tea. But yeah, just yeah. I showed you guys where you can go, do the thing. If you enjoy the content, if you want to see more, you want to support the channel, something about likes and subscriptions and comments, let me know what your thoughts are on blocking. I'd really appreciate that. If you have any questions, now is the time to ask, because we are at the exit, and we are about to leave. We're about to go. We're about to uh, end this run. How long was this run, actually? Uh, it was an hour and 34 minutes, but melee tends to be a bit more... Hmm, refined? Yeah, we'll use the words refined. And it's pretty good. It's pretty good. We, again, we didn't do anything special. Literally, grab torches, blocked. Grab shields, blocked. We got lucky with the amount of shields that happened. Uh, get magic resistance, get magic reflection. Nothing hurts you. I say nothing, as in, like, it's, it's crazy. But think about it like this. You know, we went to hell with all of that magic reflection. If you go to Herx, Herx, you can literally kill Herx in like five or 10 seconds flat, probably. You just beat a boss you spent all day yesterday trying to beat you. Let's go, Joker! Let's go! Freaking hype for you, man. I'm freaking hyped. You were OP. <laughs> yeah, this is, honestly, I, I don't like blocking. I never use blocking because it's OP. And same with alchemy. I always avoid alchemy. But I said, to prove a point, I will use blocking in every single stream and I will show everyone in the world how they can use blocking to their advantage and how to make the best of it. And basically how to kind of just avoid ever really taking damage. Because if you don't die, then you don't die. And you get really, really strong, really, really quickly. Of course, it's a little bit less like that in multiplayer, but again, in multiplayer... Ooh-wee! Ooh-wee! Being able to press space bar and get 29 AC, which is basically half of my armor right now. You know, that's, that's a big one. That's a big one. But I think that is it. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day. Good luck with your run to Verm Joker. I believe in you. Again, blocking. Blocking's the way. You know how to do it. And we will do some more in the future. You would like to see a stream where I play as a conjurer, but I can't damage enemies? Uh, I feel like my last conjuration stream, Joker, is basically that. I feel like I basically just blocked. I just held spacebar and I just won the game. That, that's literally what it felt like. Like, can you imagine this fight right now, this boss fight? Summon skeletons, stand there, and just stand there. Just hold spacebar. Nothing. You literally don't have to do anything. You just win. The skeletons will do everything for you. It's ridiculous. But, yeah. Thank you, Mika. I'll see you all on Friday. Friday in the afternoon, we'll be doing more in Shrouded. Uh, Saturday, we'll be doing more in Shrouded again. In the evenings, we... I'm thinking about Sunday... I might do the rat run on Sunday, so if you guys are looking forward to that, by the way, absolute amazing. I can't believe you guys smashed the 10 likes and the 10 comments to be your rat run. You guys got like 30 plus likes as well. It was it was crazy. It was crazy. It was it was wow. Um, but yeah, we're definitely gonna do that. And I'm thinking about doing it on Sunday instead of on Tuesday. Because, man, I've got two days off. We're, we're gonna sit, we're gonna try hard, and we're gonna succeed that run. Even if I have to go for six hours. We'll make it happen. Okay? Yeah. 
Look for us to that. Look for us to more other things. I will also probably work on a tutorial or a guide uh, in like upcoming streams, uh, either Wednesday or Thursday. And I'm probably gonna either play some Pell World or some Minecraft, the ultra hardcore Minecraft, uh, on those same days as well. Just for like a downtime, having some fun afterwards. But stuff to look forward to, right? Until then, adios, mi amigos! See you on the flip side!